Good morning, everyone. Today is a thrifting day. And it's extra exciting because I'm gonna meet my mom and I'm gonna go thrifting with my mom all day, which is one of my favorite things. So I have a little bit of a list of a few different things that I'm looking for. I, I've talked before about this little corner behind my couch and how I was trying to find something to go there. I just couldn't. I ended up giving up and I bought something off of Wayfair. It's this little, I'm using it kind of as a bar cabinet right now, but now there are a couple things that I need to kind of complete this spot. I was talking to my mom when I first put this together and she was like, ooh, you should get a silver tray to go under all the bottles. And I was like, that would be perfect. So I need to find a silver tray. I'm realizing I didn't measure how big the space is, but I think I can eyeball it. And I also have the dimensions of the cabinet it, so I think I can figure it out based on that. Then I thrifted this amazing lamp that I have on top of it, but I don't like the shade that's on it. This shade didn't come with it. It didn't come with any kind of shade. I just had this one laying around, but it's too much. It's not what I'm envisioning for here. I want a like a big white lampshade to go on it. So that's another thing on my list. I've talked a lot about this spot in my apartment. It's just a weird, it used to be a door and it's filled in, but it's indented. I wish it had just been flat, but I need to find a piece of furniture to go in here. Maybe something to put shoes in, but I'm thinking like a, like a sideboard buffet kind of thing to go there. And then going back to the bar cart, I have this picture frame and I love the picture that's in it and I love the picture frame, but it's just, it's too small for how gigantic this wall space is vertically. So I'm gonna get something, see if I can find a frame that's a little bit bigger. Then I've been wanting to try this craft where you buy a bunch of old books and use them to hide things. So I have my switch here next to my TV and it doesn't look bad, like it blends in pretty well, but I thought it'd be cool if I could find some books to stack on the side of the TV to cover up the switch and use it as like, you know, you kind of glue them all together, take out the pages and do a little DIY there. So I wanna try to do that. Also, Halloween is coming up and I am going as a witch very original i know but i want to find some black pointy toe shoes like if they have to be heels that's fine or like some black pointy toe boots because it's like the the pointy look very much gives witch and i don't have any pointy toed shoes like that so i want to try to find those and then besides that just like tchotchkes trinkets little things to kind of put places now that i have a couple more places to actually put things because i've been getting more furniture so that's kind of the idea of what I'm trying to find today, but you never know, you know, it's thrifting. We'll see what we can find. Mom is here. All right, now let's see what we can find. Look at how cute this little tile is. It's got the two little otters. I like this brass butterfly dish. I love gold or like brass candlestick holders like this, but look, at there are two of them for $38? Not worth it. There's some silver trays here, but they're all a lot smaller than what I need. Well, that's cool. But it's also like, when do I ever really need an ice bucket? <laughs> Onyx candlesticks. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we think about this tray for the bar cart? Oh, uh, it's too much like a dress Vanity, tray. yeah. I like this one too. Cute. I love this dresser too. Like this whole situation here. Mom, can you tell me where this is? <laughs> Look at it. Where is that? I don't know what it is. It's Camden. Look at all these old lighters. I didn't even see these ones up here. These are so cool. Cute. Another one over there too. <laughs> Giant pink fuzz. I like that. Maybe it's just because it's in the light. It looks so nice. <laughs> I love the chunky sweaters like this. Let me see. There are a couple more over here. Oh, this one's so cute. The problem with a lot of these sweaters is that they they smell like mothballs, and I just feel like you can never get that mothball smell out. They're always gonna smell like mothballs. Look at how cute this one is. It's like blue. This dress here, I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, I love this. And then I'm looking at the bottom, and I was like, wait, there's something embroidered on it. Hmm? So I checked the tag, and it looks pretty legit to me. And look, 
25 bucks. I was ready to pull the trigger and get this, but I tried it on and I was like, why is this one strap so much longer? It's because it's missing this little plastic piece to adjust the strap. So this one's just gonna be permanently long. So sad. These shoes are adorable. They fit me perfectly, but that's a crazy heel. And they're still $125. My nose just ran into some gushing blood. I thought it was just snot, and then I looked down at my arm, and there's blood everywhere. All right, we've got the, uh, the tissue. We're gonna venture back out. We made it all the way through. Okay, what is it? That is the flea market yeah, that's good. and then this one is the antique store mm -hmm. okay making our way to the antique store yeah. i think we need a butter churner <laughs> should we get it just to see if it it works oh it definitely will work that's a lot of butter isn't it yeah all right silver tray options which one this one yeah. i like the ones that have kind of the design yeah, see so i need shiny. one like that but smaller that one's gonna be too big I like all these tables too. I'd be afraid to even open this. Looks like it's gonna fall apart. I love looking through all the old postcards. Like, oh wait, this. Where is this? This is a buffet. What else we got? Most of these is our main ones. Oh, this is New Harbor. I love little furniture pieces like this. This is kind of cool. This feels like a lot of salt. I want to know who is using that much salt. No, it just makes, makes me feel like, should I have a deviled egg plate? Just to have a deviled egg plate? <laughs> make it easier to carry them around. It does, they're all sliding, sliding everywhere. If someone painted a picture of me from that angle, I would be pissed. Basket. So these are, those are all pine needles? Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Pine needles? Does it? <laughs> it five dollars. <laughs> yeah. All right, they're from Shein, and they are priced at 14 bucks. Yeah, they're probably yeah. less to buy new from <laughs> Shein. Now take another guess. Higher. Twelve More. Really? Yeah. Twenty-two hundred. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know that we have one of these at our house, and it is the family popcorn bowl and puke bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that when I came through here. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, friends, we're all gonna take turns <laughs> turning the butter. One hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Huh. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we made it through everything. What time is it right now? It is 3.28. So well, that was four hours. <laughs> we did it. We ended up spending four hours at the antique mall flea market combo, but neither of us actually bought anything. And we were hoping to go to the Goodwill afterwards just to see if we could actually you know take anything home for the day but we didn't end up going we went out to dinner instead got some beers and some pizza but that antique store flea market i had been to it when i was really little with my parents but i hadn't been to it recently and it was it was pretty good i would say it just depends on the like booth that you're at for prices some of them are kind of ridiculous some of them are actually pretty good so if you haven't checked it out i had so many people recommend it i would definitely also recommend but thanks for sticking around to the end of this video and i'll see you all next time